GLP-1s protect the heart, and now we're learning it's not just because of weight loss. Check out this study. A new study just dropped from the University College of London and the University of Bristol, and it's got game-changing information baked in. You see, after a heart attack, doctors work really quickly to open back up blocked arteries. But what does not get talked about quite as much is this whole idea called no reflow. Basically, they get the big artery back open, but they can't get the blood flow back to the little tiny arteries that run through your heart. They're able to feed oxygen to the parts of your heart that are affected by heart attack. And when it's not flowing properly, obviously this leads to poorer outcomes. Well, they took a look at mice and in these mouse models, what they found was nothing short of astounding when these mice were given GLP-1. Now this is a really old version of GLP-1 called exenatide or bieta. That's the one that they derived from Gila monster venom, but I digress. What they found is that the GLP-1 receptor agonist worked on the KATP channels. Think of them like little protein gates on top of the parasites. When the GLP-1 hits them, the gates open up, allowing blood flow to these smaller arteries. They took some of these other mice and they actually blocked the GLP-1 receptors. And what happened was these little channels closed back up. But even for people who haven't had heart attacks, this study did see some massive improvements. They took a look at mice who had low oxygen events in their heart. And what they found is that the GLP-1 also helped to improve the oxygenation of the heart. Now we've already seen in the select trials for Wigovi that people on semaglutide actually benefited from using GLP-1s from a cardiovascular standpoint over a four year study, regardless of how much weight they lost or what dose they were on in the trial. Meaning that there is likely some cardiac protective benefit to taking GLP-1 that exists outside of simple weight loss. Now this paper has yet to be peer reviewed. It's, it's sort of in a pre-publishing stage, but what is important to grab onto here is this might offer a potential explanation as to why patients in the Wigovi trials saw these cardiac benefits regardless of how much weight they lost. The more I learn about these medications, the more I wonder if we all shouldn't be on some form of dose of these medications. They truly, truly are remarkable medications.